Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today I'll be taking you through how I got a 5 on the AP Biology exam. Make sure to subscribe for more videos on our How to Get a 5 series, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so my experience in AP Biology. So your experience in AP Biology is going to depend a lot on your teacher and the course that you're taking. So my teacher, he assigned minimal homework, which was really nice because we had to read the textbook, and you need to be reading your textbook for AP Biology. There is no way around that, in my opinion. I think that this is a course where you have to read your textbook. There's been courses... AP courses where I haven't read the textbook and that's been fine. This is one where you need to read the textbook because you have to understand things on a deep level. So make sure that you're reading your textbook. All right, our teacher also assigned a lot of practice for response questions, which are very important. You need to do those. If your teacher isn't assigning practice for response questions, you need to look them up. Look up AP Biology for response questions, College Board on Google, and it'll take you to a link where you can take practice for response questions and score them using scoring guidelines Make sure you're doing practice for response questions. They are very important to being successful in the class and on the AP exam. Additionally, he gave us multiple choice practice through AP Classroom throughout the full year. If your teacher has set up AP Classroom, make sure that you're asking them to open up quizzes or if your teacher is assigning them, make sure you're doing those. Those are also very helpful. All right, additionally, my teacher implemented key labs. There are certain labs in AP Biology that, that tend to show up more often on the exam. You wanna be familiar with those labs. So one of them that jumps to mind is the surface area versus volume lab where the potatoes and dye. So if you haven't done that lab, Google it. Make sure you understand that. Next, the textbook. Read every chapter that is on the AP exam. It's very important to read your textbook in AP Biology. There are other courses where I don't recommend reading your textbook. This is one where you absolutely have to, in my opinion. All right, in addition to the textbook, I watched Alison Dolan's chapter reviews. I found those very helpful. Sometimes the textbook can be so dense with information, it can be hard to grasp things. In those situations, and even if you think you have a solid understanding, I still highly recommend looking up Alison Dolan chapter review videos, AP Biology on YouTube. They, she doesn't have them for every chapter, but the ones that she does have them for are usually the important chapters, and I would highly recommend using those to study. As far as prep books go, our school gave us one. I never used it, so I'm putting none here. I don't think that you have to have a prep book for AP Biology or any other prep course for that matter. But if you want to use one, you can. I personally did not. I didn't think that it was needed. I find that there's usually better resources online than a prep book, in my opinion. All right, my study tips for AP Biology. Number one tip, like I said, read the textbook. In my opinion, that's an absolute must. Make sure you're reading all of the textbook that is on the exam. All right, number two. And this is a close to number one. You've got to practice interpreting graphs, data tables, diagrams, etc. If you can interpret graphs, data tables, and diagrams, and you don't know much about biology, you'll still do better than you think on the exam. A lot of the exam in AP Biology is just being able to interpret graphs and data tables and diagrams. Now, if you are able to do that, that's going to be huge for you. But if you really want to get a five, you got to not only be able to interpret the graphs, data tables, and diagrams, but then apply them to AP Biology. So if you have knowledge from the textbook and you can interpret graphs, data tables, and diagrams, you're gonna be very successful in AP Biology. All right, next, you gotta focus on the more weighted units. There's units in AP Biology, and if you look up the AP Biology course and exam description in Google, find it from College Board, it shows how much each unit is weighted on the exam, and you're gonna to wanna to focus your time for studying and preparing on the more weighted units. Next, you have to be able to connect biological concepts across units. Now, I, I wouldn't necessarily say you have to like I just did, but it's very helpful. If you want to get a five, you, you're going to want to make sure you're able to do that. I would definitely make sure that you're checking your ability to connect biological concepts across different units because it can be helpful. It's not always tested a lot, but it can be that difference between a four and a five. So I'd make sure you're able to do it. Next, I would use digital resources. Like I said, Ellison Dolan, Bozeman Science, really any any sort of thing you're having trouble with in AP Biology, you can usually look up a video of that on YouTube to try and get help, and it, it can be very beneficial, so I would highly recommend it. All right, practice for response questions. Like I said, it's very important because it helps you learn to interpret graphs, data tables, and diagrams, and apply them to biological concepts, which is really most of the exam. You have to be able to interpret things and then apply them using biological concepts, so I would highly recommend those. Also, you're going to want to make sure you're taking practice multiple choice exams. Those are also very important because a lot of times they also require you to interpret graphs, data tables, and diagrams. Not as much as the free response qu questions do, but they still do sometimes. And then last tip, make sure you subscribe to Preeminent Test Prep for more in our How to Get a 5 video series so that way you don't have to spend as much time studying for other exams because you'll get our tips on those as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.